Oh, hi, Mark. So it's been about nine million years. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Where have you been? Um, except that none of you were thinking that because no one gives a shit. Uh, is, is essentially uh, what I'm what I'm compelled to believe. But you know, I, I gotta make myself feel better somehow. You know, just tell myself that you are all thinking that, so I don't cry myself to sleep at night with a bottle of Jim Beam in my arms. Um. <laughs> uh, too real. Okay, now will you get up here? Like, stop being stop being a hooligan. Quit being a hooligan. All right, so I'm gonna cut right into this. This is going to be all of my slasher movie DVDs. I, by the way, sorry for the shitty lighting. I am sorry. There's nothing that can be done about it. I had a lighting change in my bedroom, and it's pretty horrendous. And I understand that, and that's part of the reason that I actually stopped making YouTube videos for a while. <coughs> so I was just like, the lighting would be trash. And it is trash. Um, but anyway, some of these you may have seen in my other Shelf by Shelves, because I started that Shelf by Shelf series before I ever rearranged my room, um, which was way, that was a long time ago. Uh, um, and so my slasher movies were in with every other movie. They weren't separated back then they are now and so a lot of these you might have seen some of them you probably haven't and because I'm assuming most of you are new here's some slasher movies that you well you haven't seen in my collection anyway because most of you don't watch my videos who yeah you know, <laughs> it's just factual most of you are just randos that stumble upon these just like I am to most people's collection series as I watch. So anyway, we're going to start off right away with this slasher movie collection. First up, we have 100 Tears. This is, this is a pretty good movie. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's a good movie. That's a, that is a massive misrepresentation of what this is. This is not a good movie. It is not good. But it is entertaining. Um, mostly it's just for the gore. You don't really watch A Hundred Tears for anything other than the gore. The clown is decent, but, and it's signed. I don't know who signed it. Like, if you, if you guys are good at signatures, who is that? Is that, is that Marcus Koch, the guy that directed? I don't know. I bought it off eBay. <laughs> I don't know. I pretty much just bought the first copy I found. I didn't even realize it was signed. But anyway, then I'm just going to do these two as one. <sighs> Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Yes, I consider these slasher movies. Um, I don't know what else you would really consider them. They're, they're definitely different from other slasher movies, but I think they're slasher movies. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street 1 through Freddy vs. Jason. Good movies. Um, I love 1. Uh, 2 is not my favorite. Uh, three is great. Uh, four is actually, like, one of my favorites of the franchise. Five, I find super boring. Freddy's Dead, I actually love. New Nightmare is pretty good. And Freddy vs. Jason is cheesy fun. Um, well, Freddy's Dead is cheesy fun, too, but that's, like, a different level of cheesy. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of A Nightmare on Elm Street, a Nightmare... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, there are other slasher movies around the room, technically, uh, like in box sets and stuff, but those are... Box sets are separated from regular editions. So these are just my regular edition slasher DVDs. Alright, anyway. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake from 2010 with Jackie Earl Haley. You know what? I actually enjoy this movie. Hold on, the screen went dark. Where's my controller? That's how I'm lighting this video, by the way, is my television. As you can tell, it doesn't really work. 
but it's better than nothing, all right? I don't actually hate this movie as much as most people do. I just don't. I think it's rather okay-ish. <laughs> also, I have a French-Canadian edition. <laughs> I, uh, I live in America, by the way. Found that at, the, at a thrift store. But I am like an hour and a half. No, maybe a little more than that. But I'm just like a couple of hours from the Canadian border. So, <laughs> I guess it's not unheard of. The Banana Splits movie. Uh, basically a movie about murderous robots that are also like children's television show performers. <laughs> you know, this is this is a fun movie. And it's also a really fun premise. Like, they took a, a real children's show from like 1960-something. I, I don't know, like genuinely when the banana split show was on air and they turned it into a into a slasher movie which i just appreciate bloody bloody bible camp uh this movie is offensive and i love it i absolutely love bloody bloody bible camp honestly i think the kills are awesome in this movie and i think this movie is also hysterical super lowbrow humor the kills look cheesy, but they are, I mean, it's all practical effects. I think the effects are decent. I don't know, man. This movie feels like if someone tried to make an over-the-top spoof of slasher movies, but in 1984. I guess that's how I could describe it. I, I love Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. Child's Play. This is a 2019 remake. Yes, I. That's about all I can say for this. It's I. I like Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza and I like Mark Hamill. So, <laughs> is what it is. Graduation Day. First of all, this transfer is absolutely dreadful. Um, as a result, I think I've seen it once. Uh. Yeah. I think I remember there being a kill in this movie where someone gets a football thrown at them and there's like a spike at the end of the football. And the person catches the football and the spike impales them. <laughs> That's about all I remember from this movie. <laughs> this isn't the greatest slasher film that I own for sure. John Carpenter's Halloween. Uh, this is actually the extended edition. Which is why I own this DVD. Um, yeah. I, there isn't much more Michael Myers, if any at all, actually. It's kind of funny because it's like they, they took the shot for television scenes and they put it into this DVD. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, you know what? I I stand by owning this. Those 12 extra minutes are necessary. <laughs> Not really. Not really at all. They, they don't really add anything to the film whatsoever. But you know what? It's more Halloween. I'm not going to object. Halloween 2. This, on the other hand, I have absolutely no reason for owning. You know why I own this? Because I thought the cover art was cool. That's why I own this edition of Halloween 2. That is the only reason I own this edition of Halloween 2. I own Halloween 2 on Blu-ray. Yep. I like Halloween 2. <laughs> By the way, in case you were wondering. Harpoon Whale Watching Massacre. This movie, on the other hand, I do not like. I actually find this film quite boring. Um, from what I remember, I think that... that... Yeah. Eh. It's just really bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to rewatch this film some point in the fairly near future. Because um, I don't just want to get rid of it without having rewatched it recently. But uh, I don't know. The way, the way I feel about this film right now, it may be on its way out the door. Because I, I just 
don't remember liking anything about that movie. High Tension. Uh, this is a 2003 French film. Incredibly, incredibly disturbing. If you've never seen High Tension, please do yourself a favor and watch High Tension. It's such a brutal movie. I love it. Um, <laughs> and yes, there is a twist, but I implore you, before you hate the movie because of the twist, I implore you, think about the twist for more than three seconds, please. <laughs> Just please. It, it actually does make sense. Like, if you actually think about this twist a fairly in-depth, it's like, oh yeah, that, that all makes sense. Like, that's, yeah, totally explainable. Sorry, guys. It's like... It's literally almost 3.30 in the morning, so bear with me. House of Wax. Um, of course, this is the 2005, right? 2005. Yes, sir. 2005. 2005 remake of the Vincent Price film. I'm assuming that the Vincent Price film is not a slasher film. I've never seen it. Uh, I'm also assuming that the... 1930-something film, Mystery of the Wax Museum, also isn't a slasher movie, but this one is, uh, it's decent. Uh, I, I, I've heard people like to hate on this movie because of Paris, Paris Hilton. I don't know. Eh? <laughs> like, I, I don't hate Paris Hilton. I don't have any reason to, anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's decent. Oh, God. I'll always know what you did last summer. So, ha, I do own, I know what you did last summer. I also known, or I also known, I also known that, guys. I also own, what's the second one called? I still know what you did last summer. Where is that up there? Where are you? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I also own I Still Know What You Did Last Summer on VHS. That is the only format I own that film on. And then I own I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. I'm not a huge I Know What You Did Last Summer fan, which is why I have seen I Know What You Did Last Summer. I have not seen its sequel. I have not seen this film. But I feel like I need to own all, all of them so I can watch all of them if I really choose to. But as of now, I, I think they look like terrible films. And I know one of them is, at least. Anyway, Intruder 1989. This is a great movie. Yeah, great movie being used loosely, of course. I just, I love this movie. First of all, the kills are just out of this world in this movie. And of course, I do own the unrated version. Um, I know they put this out on Blu-ray. I just, I haven't felt the need to get the Blu-ray yet. I've actually stopped watching this movie as much since I started working at a grocery store. Now it's just kind of like, ah. <laughs> it's a little too, um, it just reminds me too much of work. <laughs> Whenever I put in a movie and, like, the whole movie's in a grocery store, it's like, <clears throat> I just can't escape from this environment. <laughs> so, I don't watch this movie as much anymore. But Intruder is a great movie. Um, kills are great. I think the movie's hilarious, personally. <laughs> I, I quote the shit out of this movie. Mostly, uh, mostly Bub. Mostly Bub's character. Just, uh... Tim? This is an amusing Tim. <laughs> or another one of my favorites was, uh... Think you're gonna give old Bub another wedgie, huh, Tim? Well, I really think not. So I had the foresight not to wear any underwear today, Tim. <laughs> and I do a really shitty Bub impression. But, or, uh, another one. What are you, catatonic, Tim? <laughs> if my brother hadn't hit him repeatedly over the head with a blender, I might not be here today. 
a blender? Yeah, the Hamilton Beach Blender. <laughs> I love Intruder. <laughs> anyway, Laid to Rest this is a great movie. Great kills, great killer. Uh, yeah, I like most things about this movie. I actually didn't like Laid to Rest a ton when I first watched the movie. Um, I actually preferred the sequel when I first watched this movie because I had seen the sequel before this movie. Now it's the complete other way around. <laughs> I think Laid to Rest is a very good movie. Now, Laid to Rest 2, Chrome Skull, I think this is a far less good movie. Uh, but I, I, I don't I don't think it's that bad, though. I, I think it has some really good kills in it. Um, but not a great one. And then, The Legend of the Psychotic Forest Ranger. This movie's just amusing. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> I don't know how to how to explain this movie to you. I want to say this movie was made for about fifteen thousand dollars, and that might be highballing it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that may be highballing the budget of this film. Um, that being said, I love this movie. Can't help it. I originally bought it for the cover art because I love that cover art. But, I mean, throughout, just throughout my high school years, I watched this movie a ton. Something about the ridiculous, over-the-top comedy just really did it for me. And <laughs> it's kind of weird because the comedy in this is almost, like, other than the little bouts of gore and little, like, passive mentions of sex here and there, the comedy in this almost comes across like it could be shown in, like, a kid's movie. <laughs> like a, a children's cartoon. But, uh, I don't know. I love Legend of the Psychotic Forest Stranger. Seriously, if you haven't seen it, just see it. At, at least to know if you like it or not, you know. <laughs> you don't have to love it, but I do. Midnight movie. Of course, I have the lenticular... That's pretty neat. I actually own this movie twice <laughs> because I own it on Blu-ray. Um, is that in my? No, that's not in my. That's not in my slasher movies. Yeah, that's over there because it was a multi-pack. Um. Anyway, that's the reason I bought it on Blu-ray. Actually, is for the other movies that it came with. But yeah. Midnight Movie. This is actually one of the earlier slasher films I had seen when I was, uh... I was in elementary school. I don't know what grade I was in. But... It's, uh, 2008, so I was probably at least 10 or 11. But... I was 8 when the movie came out. So, yeah. Yeah. It had to have been a couple years after, because it was on Netflix. But anyway... My Bloody Valentine, 1981, horror classic. This is a great movie, another one with great kills. Again, unrated edition. I have, well, no, I have seen the rated cut, actually. I was about to lie to you guys, like, just outright lie. That wasn't even, like, an ignorance sort of thing. Because I have seen the rated cut of this movie a number of different times. And the reason being is I had this weird thing where I liked to watch the, orig the original versions of movies. Like, I just, I was like, well, obviously that's the one that got released in theaters. So it must be better. It's not. Okay? It's not. Me from four years ago. It's not. Go fuck yourself. It's not. <laughs> the unrated edition of this movie has great kills great kills and then my bloody valentine 2009 this is another one with great kills i'm actually not huge on this movie though i just i don't know it never really resonated with me that hard and then popcorn i've only ever seen this movie once uh it was sort of kind of recently like in the i want to say it was in like the last year or so um yeah, it was it was all right it was good um 
It wasn't quite as slashery as I wanted it to be, like if that makes any sense, but yeah, popcorn, it's a good movie. Alrighty, got the next section down here. Okay. Prom Night uh, with Jamie Lee Curtis. Honestly, <laughs> I think Jamie Lee Curtis is a bit overrated as a Scream Queen. I, I don't think she... I don't think she's anything special. Um, I think people kind of overblow her as a Scream Queen because of what she became, not because of what she was. She really wasn't all that special. Um, that's my opinion. It's cool if you have a different one, but... For me, I, I'm not a big Jamie Lee Curtis fan. I'm, I'm really not. But Prom Night, and also Prom Night's kind of a crappy movie. It's fun, but it's... I don't know. <laughs> it is not my favorite film whatsoever. And I do have the sequels, like Prom Night 2, Prom Night 3, Prom Night 4. Prom Night 3 is my favorite of the franchise. That movie's great. But, um... I, they're not in my slasher section because two or three aren't really, or two and three aren't really slasher movies. But anyway, Prom Night, 2008 unrated cut. I think I have the rated version somewhere around here, not in the slasher section. I don't know why I have both. <laughs> These aren't fantastic movies, um, or this isn't a fantastic movie. It's decent though. You know, I think people hate on this movie a little too much. I understand it. Don't get me wrong. I understand it. It's not very good. But, uh, I don't know. Generally, I, I like, I don't hate the 2008 Prom Night remake. The Prowler. This is an incredible movie. Great kills. Great atmosphere in this one. And, uh, a really cool killer. Yeah. I mean, this is just everything early 80s slasher movies were. And, yeah, I love it. Prowler. Awesome movie. Lucio, quit licking the bed, you freak. <laughs> Redwood Massacre Annihilation. This actually isn't that bad of a movie, if I remember correctly. Like, it is, don't get me wrong. But I think I remember there being actually a couple of decent kills in this movie, oddly enough. I need to rewatch this. Because I don't remember it very well, because I was talking over, the, like, the entire thing. I watched it with a buddy, and we were just yapping over the entire damn movie. Uh, but yeah, Redwood Massacre Annihilation. Oh, it's getting... Ooh. Oh, this one has, like, sticky crap on it, which is why it's stuck right there. Anyway... Santa's sleigh. It's getting to be that time of the year again where I get to watch Santa's sleigh and Black Christmas and all of my Christmas horror movies and I am really excited about it because I love Santa's sleigh. Fantastic movie, Santa's sleigh with Bill Goldberg. If you haven't seen Santa's sleigh, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but it, it clearly isn't the wrong, it clearly isn't the right thing. All right, because if it was the right thing, you would have watched this masterpiece already. <laughs> this movie's hilarious. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, it's bad, but it's amazing. Oh, but that, that explains why I, I didn't recognize it. See No Evil 2. I do have See No Evil, except it's on Blu-ray. My Blu-rays are... There's like a hard separation on my slasher movie shelves from my DVDs and my Blu-rays. So, that'll... See No Evil 1 will pop up in my Blu-ray collection. But yeah, See No Evil 2. I haven't seen this movie. I really haven't. I haven't seen See No Evil 1 in a long time because I didn't really like it all that much. But uh, I found this at a thrift store for like two bucks. So I bought it. <laughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2. Uh, I like Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 quite a bit. I really dislike Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 quite a bit. I think the killer is an annoying douchebag in Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, and I also think that, um, uh, I also think that it's complete and utter bullshit that they reused the entire first movie, and that was, like, the whole 
first like half hour of the second movie was just the first movie. It's bullshit. But yeah, I don't know. This double pack's worth owning for one. <laughs> and the garbage day scene in two. That's the only good part in two. That's where he goes out. He's like, garbage day. It's my favorite shit ever. <laughs> shit is amazing. Anyway, Sledge. This is a terrible movie, all right? This is like Legend of the Psychotic Forest Ranger levels bad. Again, I think this movie was made for like $10,000, maybe less. Um, but there's something about it that I really enjoy. This is one of the first ultra low budget, like micro budget horror films that I ever saw. I just thought it had endless charm. I showed it to all my buddies. They all actually liked it. So you might too. Just give Sledge a chance. Um... I genuinely think this is a fun movie. Like, guys, I don't know. I, I think Sledge is worth the watch. Uh, you can watch it on Tubi TV. By the way, Tubi TV, completely free. You can watch Sledge. You don't have to buy it on DVD. It's an easily accessible film. At least I think it is. It used to be. It used to be on, like, every streaming service that was free. Like, uh, Sledge is fun, though. Sledgehammer, on the other hand. No, I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't know why I said the other hand. It's it's decent. It's not as fun as Sledge at all, by any means. But it's not bad. I mean, it is. But it's, um, it's entertaining enough to be... Yeah. Catch the reflection. Oh, there's my Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> reflections of what I'm playing anyway it's bad but it's it's fun sledgehammer shot on video shit all right sorority house massacre 2 I do not own sorority house massacre 1 I actually ordered sorority house massacre 1 when I ordered sorority house massacre 2 and it didn't show up it never showed up so i had to get a refund for sorority house massacre one and i never rebought it because it's just so expensive i was just like i'll just take the refund and pretend like it didn't happen and now i haven't even seen sorority house massacre two because i haven't seen sorority house massacre one because i don't own sorority house massacre one it's all a clusterfuck um i need to buy one uh Honestly, I need to watch two. I, I don't know. They look like fun films. They look like slasher trash. That's just what I like. Alrighty. Also, if there's an awkward pause there, it's because I had to transition to the next video or part of the video. My phone will only record up to 30 minutes. So I had to dur it anyway stage right that's decent it's a musical slasher movie um meh honestly the only part that i'll give flying colors to no there are, there are two parts one the metal the metal singing of the killer really i really like that touch and then two, the the other part that I'll give flying colors to is that opening musical number where all the band geek kids are like coming off the bus and they're like, we're gay, totally gay. And, <laughs> and they're like, no, not in that way. And then there's that one kid who's like, I'm gay, totally gay, yes, in that way. And that seems just really funny to me. But other than that, uh, this movie's pretty middle of the road. Ah, ugh. <laughs> Terror Train. Yet another pretty overrated Jamie Lee Curtis movie from the early 80s. Uh, this came out like the same year as Prom Night, didn't it? Yeah. Prom Night over this movie, 100%, though. No doubt. This movie kind of blows chunks like the only context i could see myself watching terror train again under and this is why i keep the dvd because i can see myself watching this under this very specific context 
is like it, it needs to be like raining outside and I need to be super tired I need to be like super tired from like I don't know man a long day at work and I had to wake up early like all that shit and it's like I'd say good three o'clock in the afternoon and then I just throw on Terror Train and I just fall asleep with Terror Train in the background. That's, it's like the sole reason I keep this movie. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> Sorority Row, this is a really neat movie. It is a remake to a film from, I think, 83? I think it's 83. Uh, I have not seen the 83 film. But I really like this movie. I really like Sorority Row. It's got some brutal kills in it. I mean, this is a good remake. This is a genuinely good remake. Lucci, would you quit? Stop licking your paws, man. I swear to God, every time this dog gets into licking his paws, it sounds like someone's getting the Gluck Gluck 9000. Stop it. Stop. At the top. That. Once knew a man named Zip. Would you like a suckle on my zip? Anyway, great movie. <laughs> ah, yes. Sweatshop. Give me taking a little nap boo. <laughs> this is an awesome movie. Um, the characters are all pretty forgettable, other than that one rapey drunk guy that I just quoted. And I, I only quote him because I think his line delivery is flawlessly hilarious in that scene. He just stumbles into the scene and he's like, Come here, take a little nappy poo. <laughs> yeah, I think Sweatshop is awesome. Great kills. Uh, honestly, it's got a pretty great soundtrack. This guy is just a beast in the movie. Awesome gore. It's all just... Chef's Kiss. It's great. Urban Legend. I like this movie a lot more than I actually thought I would. Um, what am I looking at here? Oh, really? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Urban Legend. I, I like this movie a lot more than I thought I would. That's what I can say for Urban Legend. For, like... 90s slasher movies like late 90s slasher movies urban legend is not a bad entry in that especially when you take into take into account take into consideration that <sighs> i'm gonna piss some people off with this one that i know what you did last summer came out in the 90s like you put urban legend up against i know what you did last summer i the urban legend wins every single time i don't care who you are Urban Legends Final Cut. I've never seen this. Um, they also have another one. It's like Urban Legends Bloody Mary. Uh, I need to buy that one so I can have the whole the whole series. I'm kind of obsessed with owning every movie that I even kind of like, and I would assume that this and the Bloody Mary one fall under the yeah, I kind of like that banner. But anyway. And lastly, for the DVD video, Wrong Turn 1 through 6. Now, I do actually have Wrong Turn 2021 up there. Um, that's a really good movie as well. But I... It's just not as slashery. I don't know. Like, it's not... I don't know why. It just doesn't feel like a slasher movie to me. So, Wrong Turn 1 through 6. Really cool movies. So, anyway... That was my entire DVD collection of slasher movies. I will do the Blu-ray collection next. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tonight, but maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> it's too damn late for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.